So, uh, Avi Spector asks, uh, and Avi is right here, there you go. Many schools pursue a competency-based approach to learning, but our final exams still often focus on the student's ability to memorize information, to problem solve on their own, and disallow the use of technology. How do you see assessment in your ideal school of the future? Well, one of the things that's, that's happened in the world, as far as I can see, is that we are no longer uh, not that we ever have been, we're no longer people who are divorced from the tools that we have, but we're extended by the tools that we have. And we've always been. We've always had tools that we relied on, whether they're our clothing or our cars or anything else. But now, it's, now we have a lot of mental tools, a lot more extensions, brain extensions. And to have somebody come in to an exam, for example, and say, leave all those extensions behind, to me is very similar to asking a plumber to come in for a, a, an exam and saying, leave your wrenches at home. Don't bring your tools. What happens in the world is that people don't work individually. I don't think anybody works. I'm, I'm maybe one of the closest to it because I spend a lot of time at home writing, but I'm a, here I am with a whole group of people. And so what counts is the interaction with people, with the ideas, with the equipment, and all of that is a big symbiosis now. So that the exam, the, the, the old form of the exam, which is just all yourself, is kind of like the isolation booth of the 1960s, which we all know that even that didn't work because they cheated in that. Uh, <laughs> but now you go to who wants to be a millionaire, Phone a friend, ask the audience. That's the way we operate as people, certainly the way we work. And so to not have that be part of how we, how, how we say what you're competent at is really a mistake, I think. Pretty much because if the type of question that we ask are easily Googleable, then what's the point? Perhaps that, that, that's part of the problem. And that's why people, some people might be afraid to allow technology in an exam because, well, they're going to cheat. Well, it's not cheating. It's looking up information. Right. Well, if the answer, if the answer is, is findable on Google, it's not a good question. Exactly. I mean, it's a good question because you might, need, you might want to look it up, just like we all look up things that uh, what team won, what happened, what's the score, what's the, what, any, anything we want to know, we can just look up, which is really a wonderful place to be. But the, uh, the idea of making that an exam that says you are good at thinking, you are good at, at, at doing something, doesn't make much sense in today's world. But the, uh, part, another part of that is that uh, is, has to do with the curriculum that mm -hmm. we have. Mm -hmm. we, we say uh, that we're going to teach particular things, but in particular math, language, science, social studies, and that we have a set of, of uh, competencies uh, or, or standards or whatever you want to call them that we want people to do. But those are not really what's needed in the world anymore. They were needed 100 years ago. Everybody had to have competencies because they may be off on their own and have to do this. Now, I think what's needed are things like effective thinking, effective action, effective relationships, effective accomplishment. And those ought to be the subjects that we teach. Excuse me. And those ought to be the subjects that we teach, and we ought to teach the other things, the math, in those subjects, but in function of who the kids are and what they need and what their interests are. Yeah. It's, so it's still going to remain a problem if we're asking uh, students to do things by hand at an exam, because those things are not done by hand in life anymore. M fewer and fewer are. It used to be you had to know math mathematics to make change at a restaurant. Now if you go to work at McDonald's, it's very convenient because I could go work at China in McDonald's because there's just pictures. And you push the pictures <laughs> and you, you get the thing and it tells you what to give. Don't um, make that your next career change though. Don't. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. But, but the, the point is that some people say that that's terrible, but I don't think it's terrible. I think it's, it's just the evolution of how things have moved on in the world, and that if technology breaks down, we fix it and we move on. So we can all think about other things than how to make change. 